Hello, hola, najam, and bonjour, everybody. Guess what time it is? Read aloud time. And what will I be reading? A book. <laughs> this book is called These Hands. This is the front, this is the back, this is the spine. And what does the spine do? Yes, it holds all the pages together. <laughs> this book is written by Margaret Mason, illustrated by Floyd Cooper. And remember, the writer writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. Wow, look at the illustrator does such a great job. Let's see. There's the title page. These Hands is the name of this book. Let me just go back a little bit so you guys can see too. Look at these hands, Joseph. Did you know these hands used to tie a triple bowline knot in three seconds flat? Well, I could still help a young fellow learn to tie his shoes. Yes, I can. <laughs> you learn how to tie his shoes. Do you know how to tie your shoes? Look at these hands, Joseph. Did you know these hands used to make the ivory sing like a sparrow in the springtime? Well, I could still show a young fellow how to play heart and soul. Yes, I can. What are they playing? They're making music. That's an instrument. It's called a piano. Look at these hands, Joseph. Did you know these hands used to pluck the ace of spades right out of thin air? <laughs> well, I could still teach a young fellow how to do a waterfall shuffle. Yes, I can. Wow, he knows tricks. Look at that. Joseph is intrigued. Look how he's looking. Look at these hands, Joseph. Did you know these hands used to throw a curveball faster than a dive bomb and honeybee? Well, I can still help a young fellow learn to hit a line drive. Yes, I can. He's holding a bat. They're going to play some baseball. Look at these hands, Joseph. Did you know these hands were not allowed to mix the bread dough in the Wonder Bread factory? Did you know these hands were not allowed to touch the bread dough in the Wonder Bread factory? These hands were only allowed to sweep floors and work the line and load the trucks because the bosses said white people would not want to eat bread touched by these hands. Mm. Well, these hands joined with other hands and we wrote our petitions. They got busy. Getting signatures. Everybody signed the petitions. Yay. And we carried our signs. They marched. And we raised our voices together. That's right. Looks like they're in the, at the Capitol, Washington, D.C. Now, any hands can mix the bread dough, no matter their color. Good. Now, any hands can touch the bread dough, no matter their color. Yes, they can. He's making dough like Miss Bobette makes Play-Doh. Anybody can make the dough nowadays. Look at these hands, Grandpa. These hands used not to be able to tie a shoe. Looks like he's getting it. He's been practicing. <laughs> or play the piano or shuffle the cards. Look at that smile on his face. <gasps> Look what number he has on his shirt. Number seven, number seven, number, number seven. Number, number seven. And then they have the three of hearts right there. <laughs> we have those cards. Or hit the ball. 
Wow, he hit that ball hard with that bat. Way up in the sky by the clouds. Now I can do all of that, plus bake a fine loaf of bread, can I? Mm -hmm, you sure can. Why, yes, you can, Joseph. Look at those hands. Those hands can do anything, anything at all in this whole wide world. Yes, you can. And that's the truth. The end. These hands. That was an awesome book. I hope you guys enjoyed that book. And just know that your hands, you can do anything you want to do too. All right, see you later, alligators.